U.S. helped overthrow the government of Ukraine. That's that's really a crucial moment in this story. Victoria Newland, who was then Assistant Secretary of State, uh, obviously was involved in a covert operation, not so covert because some of it, so much of it is self-evident, but uh, in a covert operation to push Yanukovych from power as part of the U.S. strategy to move NATO eastward because Yanukovych was in a balancing act. He was trying to keep Ukraine neutral. That's a no-no from the U.S. point of view. So the U.S. gave him a, a big nudge in February 2014, and the war with Russia broke out in February 2014. We're in the ninth year of this war now. And it started with a, a U.S.-supported insurrection uh, and then it became, of course, deeply militarized. And uh, immediately the United States was on Russia's case. You see, we told you, we told you about the pipeline. You must not trade. We told you. And so all these pipeline issues after 2014 loomed very large in the U.S. Uh, imagination. And they were determined, these neocons who have been in power in the United States for decades now, were determined to end the pipeline. They thought they could pressure Germany into ending the pipeline. They thought they could, and every U.S. ambassador has been very public and explicit about this. Uh, but the Germans said, but we like inexpensive gas. It's good for our industry. It's good for our economy. It's called trade. I think a perfectly rational and plausible position, <coughs> unless you're a neocon, 